Hey everybody, today we're going to unbox what I think is the coolest Tamiya TTO2 variant, the TTO2B for buggy, and the Plasma Edge 2 in gunmetal. This is a limited edition Plasma Edge 2. The body is pre-painted in a gunmetal color, and so is the wing, and I don't have to do any painting, which sometimes I stall on. I bought this yesterday for $130 at a local hobby shop. It is still available on Tamiya USA as of yesterday for 180 so I rushed out and picked it up. If you like watching unboxing RC products, make sure you hit that subscribe button below. Let's go ahead and take a look. Personally, I think this is the most interesting use of the TTO2 chassis. You got the open, open wheels, you got the buggy body, the wing. You don't find this in any other uh, use of the TTO2 chassis, any of the variants. And it's everything's very familiar. I think the arms are going to be a little bit longer. The, the damper is going to be longer. The damper stays are taller and different. And of course, you have the bumper. But everything else looks like the bathtub is going to be the same as all the other TTO2 variants. And this kit does come with CDA uh, dampers. Looks like you have all the hop-ups, and these look like clay tires. That's interesting. Uh, and then, of course, you're going to need a radio system, a servo. ESC is already included, and you need battery, charger, and batteries for your transmitter. And, of course, I've already purchased my ball bearings. They're on their way. And let's go ahead and open up this box. Right here we go. Let's see what we have inside. Check out the pre-painted body. That is awesome. Saved me so much time. It looks like I don't know if it's screen printed the gunmetal or it's just the color of the Lexan. It's kind of hard to tell right now. Got the familiar ESC. I have the pre-painted wing. We have the uprights and the knuckles. This is hard plastic. Have a divider here. Familiar motor mount, motor shroud, spurt, gear cover, battery holder, and the receiver box. There's the bumper, and I think these are skip plates. Check out that. Damper stay, look how tall that is. So this is definitely different. These two pieces are definitely different. I think this whole tree here is gonna be different than your standard TTO2. That's really cool. That's a servo mount, steering components, All right? Okay, these are the arms. The arms definitely look a little bit longer than normal. The links are definitely longer. Check out those things. So this this tree also, these two trees also are going to be different than your standard TTO2. And these are the dog bones. Those are much longer. And there's the out drives. Interesting. Here's the bag of the screws, ABC, springs. These come with the CVA uh, dampers, the shocks. So we're gonna have to build those, that's great. As opposed to the sand shaker that I just unboxed, those had friction dampers. These are going to be CVAs, that's awesome. The familiar TTO2 bathtub chassis. I have these oversized wheels. These look about the same as the uh, Sand shaker, definitely bigger than the standard TTO2s, and it looks, the diameter looks a little bit bigger. 
And these are the wheels. You got the front wheels, which are a little bit narrower, and the rear wheels. And that's interesting. We got two different wheel sizes as opposed to all the other TTO2s where the four wheels are the same. This is just some precautions usually. And this one has a sheet dedicated to the body. And it's just basically where to put the decals. Uh, no paint needed. Usually the paint needed is here. No paint needed. It just tells you how to assemble it and where to put the decals. Easy. Here's the manual. This is the B manual, TTO2 B manual, dedicated. That's really cool. And here's the decals. Those are going to black out the windows. And here's the decal sheet. Again, these are not pre-cut. And that's it. It looks really good. Really sharp. I love the colors. Love the neon yellow. It's going to look real sharp against the gunmetal. All right, let's sit down. I'm going to measure the wheels real quick and let's go through the manual. I was curious just how much difference there was in the standard TTO2 wheel and tire and the TTO2B. So let's take a look. This is just about two inches wide, the wheel. And the tire is about two and three sixteenths and the width is just about an inch and on this wheel it is two and five sixteenths i'm going to measure just the sidewall just include the sidewall not the spikes it's hard to eyeball the spikes and that is two and almost three inches. I'm just going to say it's three inches. And the width is two and a half. So that shows how much bigger the wheel is compared to the standard TTO2. This came from the TTO2 Type SR kit. And just for comparison, in case you're wondering, this came from the TTO2T Sand Shaker. And here is the buggy tire. And so this is still a little bit bigger. I always like going through the manual just to see if there's any differences. I mean, we can just tell by the chassis picture here. We already figured out that the damper stays, the shock tower is gonna to be a little bit taller. Shocks are gonna be taller. We can have different geometry in terms of how the dampers mount. And here's the front bumper, that's different. And let's see, anything else? The usual, start with the propeller, spur gear, diffs, everything's the same. Motor, arms, very familiar. And this looks like something different. So that is going to be different. The lower arms is actually attached to part of the skip plate. That's interesting. So that's different. There's the damper stay, longer links. I wonder, I'm gonna measure those links. I wonder if I can swap them out for a hop-up part or something I can buy from TLR or Team Associated just to get adjustable uh, camber links. And there's the rear tower. That's much taller. And like I said, the dog bones are longer. Like I said, this can't, comes with CVA dampers that we're going to have to put together. Okay, everything else looks, the steering geometry is the same, the standard TTO2 geometry, though the steering lengths are gonna be longer. Wonder if that's gonna make it better or worse. Um, and that's it. And there's the wheels. And mount on the body. And let's see if this has any gearing information. 
I looked through the manual yesterday. The sand shaker has the exact gear ratio here. 17 tooth pinion, 7 to 70 tooth spur. Final drive ratio 10.71 to 1. So I hope that spur gear, the spinning gear is included. But if not, not a big deal. I have the bearing kit on the way as usual. So right after I finish building the sand shaker, I'm going to start building this. So subscribe for more. Please give this video a like. And I'll see you guys in the next one.